Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It's me, Postmodern Cowboy. And uh, behind me is uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. Stranded Alien Dawn is a community management survival game from Emimon Studios. Uh, it's in the band Rimworld or Fortress. Um, we're crash landing right now on an alien bug plane where we'll be expected to survive. For those of you who have uh, paid some attention to my channel, you'll know that I've done uh, streams of this game before. Um, this is, of course, the first stream I'm doing since the 1.0 release, uh, and, and that's really why we're doing this. Um, yesterday, this game hit uh, 1.0, left early access, and um, there's a whole, a whole host of new features uh, to explore for right now. Uh, what you need to know is we're playing with the old cast and crew, Grace and Paulette, Talis and Vanessa, um, and we're playing on the goodnight hyphen loving, that's all caps, goodnight hyphen loving seed. Um, so I'm just going to roll time here and get these folks doing the things they need to do so that we can uh, survive and thrive and prosper on this alien bug planet. And uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, the community and uh, the game as we progress. Um, it is it is a lot like uh, going medieval, which I also play. It's, it's a bit different. It has some uh, different mechanics. It's certainly a little bit more involved in terms of uh, the community interactions. Um, for example, uh, Grayson here and Vanessa are married, the husband-wife duo. He's a carpenter. She is a doctor. Um, Paulette and Talis are both single. Paulette is a runaway housewife, and Talis is a ship captain, which is, uh, you know, actually why he is presently crying his uh, crying his eyes out about the crash. Okay, um, I'm gonna have Talis go pick up the uh, go pick up the. Oh, he's having a meltdown. Right. Okay. We gotta wait for his little meltdown to finish. Uh, we're gonna roll time at normal speed on this. Things can get out of hand really, really quickly. Um, I, I think I'm gonna slow roll through most of the content, um, at least on this first playthrough. I do intend to do a whole separate playthrough of this game because there's a new game mode. Um, it is the military outpost mode in which uh, you uh, crash land. Uh, sorry, you don't crash land. Rather, you um, land with a shuttle and six survivors who are heavily armed and equipped. Um, very much uh, like a Starship Troopers insertion on a much more hostile bug planet than this one we're on, um, and you're expected to build an Ansible, um, which is like a type of uh, intergalactic communications relay. Uh, nice hat tip, by the way, Hamimont, to uh, Ursula K. Le Guin, who, uh, coined, uh, who first coined the term Ansible in her uh, novel Rokanan's World in the Hainish Cycle. Um, it's pretty surprising to me, actually, that I remember that. But, um, yeah, I, I think that's a pretty cool touch. Now, I'm going to have to move them all over, I guess. So I'll draft these ladies and bring them up. But our, our priorities are going to be uh, multifold. There's lots of things I have to do right off the bat in this game. Um, I need them to build these stockpiles here. And we're going to need to cut some, uh, some grasses and some bushes, clear cut that whole section of bushes, and some trees. Let's cut a little swath through the pine trees there. Uh, that'll, nope, that didn't take, that order didn't take for some reason. Okay, there we go. And we'll have to get them uh, planting some things for food and hunting some things for food. Shelter's our priority, though, um, and, and even before, before shelter, we need somewhere to stockpile our goods, um, and so that's why we're throwing down. I've got uh, Talus dropping these uh, stockpiles. They're just uh, places things can be stored, if you know, you know, from going medieval, a stockpile um, receives materials of all sorts. You can uh, sort of click to um, lock out certain types of materials. I am actually going to lock out. Uh, oh, you know what? No, I don't want to lock out food because I need them to bring the food over right now. We'll do that later. Okay, Paulette and Vanessa can be undrafted. Okay, we're actually going to speed time right up here. And as soon as they finish cutting that, uh, I can then start to place a, a preliminary shelter here. Okay. And uh, what else do we need? So we need to place sleeping spots. Um, let's do the husband-wife sleeping spot first. And... 
extend the shelter a little bit here. Hmm. Just extend it like that for now. These are uh, very temporary structures. I'm, I'm just building the cheapest possible uh, material. So yeah, I saw some corn back here, so let's get someone observing the grain corn. Um, observing something teaches you about its properties, and there's some uh, buttermelon over here, which we'll observe as well. And that should... Uh, food and medicine are going to be the big priorities. I think we've got, we've got shelter. Um, we're going to need to get into um, growing hay for like animal feed and stuff. There's There's been a whole bunch of updates too, so since I last played... Um, you know, the game came out on my birthday uh, last year in October, so it hasn't even been out for a full year yet, but there's already been, like, five major updates. Um, I don't have them all in front of me right now, but I do know offhand um, that there were, like, dunes and uh, deserts and uh, moons update and um, a trading and taming update and then this new military outpost update, and there's probably something in there that I'm forgetting, but really like a, a rapid pace of uh, content development from um, like a really professional studio, Hemimont, uh, I think they're headquartered in Sofia, Bulgaria, they do um, Surviving Mars um, and you know some other games um, that you've certainly heard of but this is uh, this is one of their uh, their flagship games right now and it is uh, it is a lot of fun it's pretty cool um, it's hard I'll say that it's hard even on medium difficulty it presents a significant challenge to a survival gaming veteran um, okay. I gotta lay down two more sleeping spots here. Get those out. Campfire outside. So. Give a space to eat. Don't go to sleep. I need you to actually build. Sleeping spots. We'll assign these two to uh, Grayson and Vanessa. Now is probably a good time to set up your schedule. Um, again, I'm not. I'm not an abusive boss, so I'm not going to make them work. Uh, really long, hard days. Uh, we're gonna make them. Uh, we're gonna take some breaks in here. Let's like, the noontime break, and uh, this is an important one too. You give them some time for anything throughout the day. Um, so they got a total of nine hours of work. I feel like that's fair. Um, they're getting enough sleep um, so that they're not getting worn down. Now. They're wasting their first night, though. I'm going to jump to Talus here. Have him carry some of the uh, the foodstuffs back. And Grayson and Paulette can do the same. Or uh, Grayson and Vanessa, rather, can do the same. Yeah, everything's, everything's going to get moved, so... Again, so they uh, they stay up the first night. Uh, they are in crisis. You know, it's not uh, not going to screw the community over one way or the other. We've got uh, terror birds over here. I see them mucking around on the horizon. They're they're both good and bad. They 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 can attack as uh, settlers, but they will massacre wildlife for me, which um, will give me an opportunity maybe early on to get some hides uh, or some meat from things they've killed, just scavenging the kills. This is this one of their nests. Yeah, it's a bird nest. But I think when you destroy the bird nest, it prevents them from returning to an area, which again can be both good or bad. This guy here. We've got a dog. We've got an actual honest to god dog. I missed that they added dogs. Um, I don't think there's rideable animals. I think that's something that uh, hasn't come along. They have added. <laughs> this is really cool. Also in the uh, the military update, the military outpost update, the most recent 1.0. They added mechs. 
Um, so, you know, if you, if you want to go back and watch the review I made of this game when it came out, um, I compare it to that episode of Love, Death, and Robots, um, which features a uh, giant cowboy punk mecha fighting uh, on an alien bug planet, and they added the mecha. That's pretty cool. I am I am weirdly about it. Uh, okay, terror birds are approaching my settler there. I hope they don't bully her. No, there. Okay. S the shelter's getting built. And again, none of these guys slept. They're all going to be fucking extra tired today, but that's okay. Let's make sure we get a drying rack uh, set up as well. And uh, furniture, put some chairs around the table so that uh, they can eat their uh, their daily meal. The table doesn't have to be inside right now, it's, I don't really care. Um, okay, this, this looks good so far. I am going to need to put down, uh, I guess the priorities are research and then crafting. You know what, actually, let's expand that room by one. Uh, can I do this evenly? No, it's an odd number of, that would be weird, so, that would be even, right? No. No, that doesn't work either. There's no real way to expand this room. Um, I mean, I could make it a fairly big indoor space, I guess, but I don't need to. This is all, this is all super temporary, like I said, it'll be gone in, uh, let's put an upright wardrobe there, and a research bench, and a workbench, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, there we go. Someone will build those things probably slate some more stuff to be cut. Uh, here, cut some more hay. And we'll need to cut bushes as well. We can cut these bushes here. We need to cut all of them right now. Okay. And theoretically we might need, uh, we've got 116 wood, but we might need a little bit more wood. Not much more, but a little bit more. And so what's what's going to happen here, um, if you see the lay of the land, like, uh, yeah, aliens can get up this giant steep slope, but um, we're going to build uh, our main settlement up here on the, the high corner uh, above, uh, you know, this pretty intimidating cliff. It's going to give us a, a, an advantage, a height advantage in anything coming up that way. And then uh, we'll, we'll wall off this side as well. Um, it'll be It'll be like a... Like a weird cowboy punk castle, I guess. It's sort of the, the end goal. Yeah, scavenging is something I do need to do, no doubt. Here comes the 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 rain, here comes the thunder and lightning. We don't have um I mean, we don't have a lightning rod, so we're probably gonna get struck by lightning this early on. As I say that table might get struck. It, it tends to strike uh, objects, not necessarily people. Definitely hits metal campfires, any metal outside. Uh, stuff inside should be okay for now. Slow time back down and make sure I appoint uh, uh, some shelving. And again, we'll, we'll try to store our food, more perishable things, um, on those interior shelves. You want to be getting fridges and, like, uh, refrigeration, uh, air conditioners, indoor climate control. Uh, it is, it is very, it is very detailed. It's very much like RimWorld. Um, it's a lot more like RimWorld than Going Medieval is. It certainly has, uh, the intricate interpersonal interactions. You don't need to tell me how to do that. We've also got, uh, uh, stone and metals here and over here, like... This, this is a pretty strong spot. Um, I like I like this seed. It's again, uh, all caps, good night, hyphen loving. Um, so named for the uh, cattle drive trail because we're going to be 
um, alien bug planet cowboys. All right, he's finally getting around to building the campfire. That's good. Okay, and we got to start the lightning. Look at that. Look how that works. Okay, we're going to cook emergency rations. I don't think it increases uh, their longevity. Like, they, don't, they, they spoil the same speed, but... Um, yeah, people like it more. People are happier to eat it. You know, it's like heating up your MREs. Okay, things are going well. I guess I could even put a storage shelf in the middle of the room, right? That wouldn't take up too much space. A double... yeah. They get a, a morale bonus from uh, sleeping beside each other because they are, uh, are romantically involved. So there's a... Uh, and again, it's something that doesn't happen in going medieval. There's no... Um, weddings or... kind of pair bonding like that. I don't know what these, uh, tube plants are in this gulch. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. We're definitely gonna have to prepare for, uh, the first wave of, uh, bugs to come in. That's gonna mean, um, fencing our little compound here. Making some weapons. Um, I know that we have a weapon on the stockpile right now. There's a laser pistol that Talus needs to use because he's he's really the only uh, character who's competent um, in the community. And and again, it's uh, it's something that they did. Also, they added more uh, combat focused characters in, in keeping with the new military outpost. There's like a new spec ops commander, um, a new uh, military commander uh, character who uh, sort of fill out those more kinetic uh, roles. I was also checking out mods for this. There's uh, there are some cool mods. Um, there's a mod that adds um, like improvised weapons, which I think is a massive, massive gap in this game's technology tree. I wish they really didn't have to mod it. I wish there was something that the developers saw fit to include. Um, because really, should we should be starting off? Um, you know, there's a six shooter that denotes um, the number of weapons we have, but there's no six shooter in the game. You know, it's laser pistols to start, um, plasma rifles later, like. Yeah, so they've added uh, an improvised pistol, an improvised submachine gun, a uh, flintlock rifle. Like, that's cool. I think that, that adds some um, uh, depth and complexity to the weapon uh, weapons tree. Um, that again, I wish just didn't have to be modded. But I also understand that at this late stage of development, taking away our plasma rifles and laser pistols and replacing them with um, flintlocks, woods, um, or, or uh, other gunpowder firearms like a revolver, woods, uh, maybe annoy some of the player base. Like, why, why are we getting rolled back here? It's, I don't know. Um, it's like my tiniest, tiniest little gripe with this game is the tech tree. Speaking of, we've got to get this research table down. We're on day three now. Nothing else I need to build for now. I just need them to build those things and use them. And gather things and plant things and research things. Everybody eats breakfast. And then they chill. Yeah, it brings a flavor and makes the rations more appealing. Okay, we got a research bench. So, um, oh, cool. Yeah, we get a hay, a hay cloth. Uh, yeah, they want to have a party. Yeah, all right, Grayson, let's have a party tonight. So uh, we get we get hay cloth. This breakthrough tab is random by map seed. Um, and so this is a cool map seed because you get hay cloth, which allows you to make cloth right off the bat, which really advantages you uh, come the first winter when your settlers start to freeze. But, um, you know, we want to get some of the faster stuff 
animal taming, and weapon smithing. I've never actually tamed an animal in this game. It's completely new, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on my, uh... Alright, we might as well send someone to scavenge the... the wreck there. Talus is learning about grain cob. That's great. That's what he needs to do. Get some metal there, too. Cool. But also, we should be, um, harvesting. There's no reason to wait, uh, for... Well, I guess it's a cut order. It's not really a harvest order, is it? Because I don't... Okay, let's... Orders, uh, cut other plants. And we'll cut those as well. We get the buttermelons. Yeah, we want we want we don't want to run out of food um, before we start to produce food. We want to like have um, food and meat ready to produce more food, um, so we can sort of ease our transition onto you know a self-sustaining um, economy. Cutting doesn't seem to do what I want it to do. We're not we're not getting the natural. I don't like that. Okay, but did we uh, finish studying the grain cob? Of course we didn't finish studying the grain cob. I don't know why he stopped. I must have. Get your eyes back on that. Let's learn one crop at a time, shall we? Okay, meanwhile, uh, Grayson could be researching. And uh, Vanessa could be scavenging. having a party in two hours, so. We really didn't get that much done today, in day three. Okay. It's coming a little bit late to the party. He might miss it. Oh, they all managed to have a little celebration. That's good. So, uh, what the hell are they doing? They're just having a conversation. All right. Eating before bed, guys. You know what that does to your metabolism? Uh, no, nope. it's the activity manager. Let's turn off simple priorities. And we're going to set Paulette to cook. And... Grayson is a researcher. Alice is the observer right now. And Vanessa is the scavenger. We're just going to roll with those priorities for a day. 
Disturbed sleep. Why was there sleep disturbed? I didn't disturb your sleep. What? Hmm. It's a little concerning. Actually, I was going to set uh, Talus' uh, priorities. I guess I can manage the activity panel. Um, because he's the only one with a gun. Might as well set him to hunting one. Follow him through his day. Yeah, he's down observing the mushrooms now. I don't know why he chose to not follow up with the grain cob or the buttermelon, but instead to switch to another thing, but I guess these are probably the most important thing for us to research anyway. It's, uh, medication. Good. We got some synthetic, uh, synthetic fabric and some scrap metal. That's nice. We probably actually take the raw food. Any cook meals, any electronics she finds, any apparel or weapons or medicines, right off the uh, the stockpile there. Do the same with this other stockpile. Components, apparel, weapons, and medicine. And I think I forgot to turn off. Yeah, so we have four days of food left. That's not a problem. Uh, Okay, and we do have a glitter cap. Okay, now sighting farms is always a challenge because it's like, I want to put them close, but I don't want to put them too close. I think the... Hmm... And let's get the uh, fence around it. The wooden fence. It's a little weaker, but it's not going to use my metal. And we'll put a fence door somewhere here. Again, glitter caps are food, but they're they're primarily medicine. Um, again, that doesn't that doesn't occlude too much into my sort of internal courtyard space here. I'm going to want. Likely the wall will probably go right along there. Okay, and we just learned grain cob too, so that's good. some woods in order for them to complete this uh no I want to up another couple trees going on over here? Is there a corpse? What are they eating? Yeah, something died. Small flying lizard. Being eaten by other small flying lizards. These are uh, scavengers that show up and eat uh, kills. If you, so if you hunt something and then don't uh, butcher it fast enough, you're going to lose your kill to uh, scavengers way before it decays. Just, you know, I didn't think Rimworld does that. It might. But... It's been a hot minute, minute since I played that. Okay. Let's uh, let's chuck a couple torches down.
think they perform better in the lights. You should go kill that right away. Took a pleasant walk with his leisure time. Oh, he's not carrying a weapon. That's what's going on here. <laughs> okay. Ah. I actually need to craft some weapons. Um, let's see. We've got three people who don't have weapons, so we need to make two, three bows. And... Uh, Three spears. Now who would be, who would be doing that? Uh oh, uh oh, he's uh, gonna kill it. Uh oh, dude, don't get too close. Things can get enraged, right? Just like in, uh, just like in RimWorld, and. Uh, uh, research has stopped, so let's keep research going. I think the next thing, oh, emergency rations would be great, but two food and four cloth to make one. A little bit like an elven whey bread. That would be, I guess, a very beneficial way to maximize my food usage. Um, they're not going to be super as, as happy with it. No, we're going to learn fortification first, so we can start laying out the... He seems to have... Now, who's supposed to be planting? I don't really have a farmer in this community, so I, I hope the first community member who joins this is a farmer. There's, there's uh, after, after your first couple attacks, there's usually someone who shows up injured or. Um, get housewifey on it. Grayson is still researching, and that's more important. is still scavenging. That's good. She's found more food. That's good. Animal taming. This I don't... of observed species. side of it. Oh, there it is. Dogs give hide? I mean, I guess they do. You're gonna catch me wearing a dog fur coat. Just sowing a full field of mushrooms, that's good. I need, uh, I need Vanessa to stop scavenging, though. And, uh, start constructing. No, she's not a, she's not a builder. Can she cut? 
plants? Yeah, she can cut plants. Okay. Who is my constructor? Dallas is... Grayson is the best constructor. Well, yeah, he's the carpenter, of course. Okay. Let's have him prioritize building those fences. Let's just reset his priority there. Oh, uh, my... Whatever those are. What are those? Cooked emergency rations. Why are they on that stockpile? They're not supposed to be on that stockpile. Cooked meals. And they won't, they won't. It's unlike going medieval, you can't tell them to haul an individual thing, which is, again, super... Super for grace and feels so good right now. It's super frustrating. You can't, uh... Okay. That's cool. That's really cool, actually. I'm super, super happy they added this. Put this here. Enough space? Yeah, I think that's enough space. Of course, it really, uh, it opens that wall there, so let's... How many sticks is it? 60 and 60. That, that, that's a lot of material, I guess. sleeping spots. Put a couple large animal spots or some small ones. Wooden animal feeder. Large animal spot and a small animal spot. For now we'll see might as well put a shooting targets back here as well. Need to cut more woods. I, I'm starting to realize like the small tree only has 14 of 20 wood, but the big tree has 20 wood. I don't remember if that was a thing before, if I just missed it, but. And these broadleaf trees have even more wood. Okay, I think I understand. Wood supplies back down again. Vanessa's scavenging. Pull her off that. Should go do the cutting. And uh, did I learn buttermelon? I did learn buttermelon. Okay, let's get the buttermelon in the ground here. Uh, we'll build it on that. Oh, it's a much larger field. That's interesting. Just they're a different shape, I guess. Okay. Let's actually remove the field here. Again, this can all be moved in a couple seasons. I probably won't want to. So, you know, once I've sighted this stuff, it's darn near permanent. Wooden fence door up here. Now we need to 
get more woods. Now, who's supposed to be making my weapons? I completely forgot about that. No one is making weapons. Okay. So we're probably going to get in a fight pretty soon here, and I don't want them to do it with their knives. So, is assemble uh, advanced weapons. No, that's not quite it. Craft. Grayson's also the crafter. No, Paulette's a better crafter than Grayson. She can make the weapons. Pull her off planting for now. Planting free. Okay. We don't need the buttermelon right away. Yeah, she'll make the bows. Where is she going? How far is she? Okay, she's just going over there to get some cloth, which for some reason nobody bothered to bring in. Anything else sitting out here? Grayson and, and Vanessa got in an argument. Um, well, you might remember those two. Animal sheds up. That's good. Don't super need the chopping block right now, but I might as well put one down. I guess animal sheds probably make a pretty good large stockpile, too. Like, there's no law that says that I can't use it as just a, a stockpile shelter. Especially for the hay, which does decay. Sitting outside. How is my hay doing, anyway? Shelf life. 69%. Nice. The last of the 12 days. That's fine. Something woke them up. It was three in the morning, something woke them up. Okay, so we discovered a boxer. Taming of dogs, if research, you can also make a dog statue. Uh, taming. I don't really understand how things get added to the um, I guess would be under other. Oh, maybe it just means I can tame it if I've researched taming. That would make more sense. Where's the boxer? Food for taming hasn't been discovered yet. Interesting. Okay, I gotta find the appropriate food. There's also some Great Danes out here. Um, don't ask me how wild dogs got on this alien bug planet or why they didn't promptly become uh, like coyotes or dingoes. Uh, you know, like semi-feral uh, or or fully feral canines, uh, can canids, but... Uh... Okay. Okay, Paulette, I need you to prioritize making weapons right now. And Vanessa needs to cut. There's no... No way around that right now. But it's gonna be a good night. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna roll, like, right from this into, uh, Crusader Kings, my, um... Uh, Safarid playthrough, and uh, probably back to going medieval again um, as well. We've got a little little bit of time tonight. I uh, spent the day doing incredibly productive things. Incredibly productive things. So, we'll see how that pans out. Okay, Paulette has made a spear. She needs to properly equip. Uh-oh. 
Oh, he's... <laughs> I hear the shooting. He's, uh... Having fun shooting the target. That's all. Okay, we'll get this field together. Alright, here's the first fight, and we don't have enough weapons for everybody. How is Paulette's spear crafting going? She's not going to have it ready in time, I don't think. Might as well bring Grace and Vanessa back in. We're going to use the pen here. And, uh... He did get the spear ready in time. Okay. So, can I have him equip? No, not while he's drafted. Got a little bit of medicine. I'm not too worried about uh, taking a casualty from these things. I'm a lot more worried about... Um, Losing, uh, like, uh, morale. Just having them become unhappy as a result of being injured. Grayson's got a spear, so I'll draft him. He'll go stand in the fields. Um, Paulette, I need her to rush just another spear if she can. Again, that hate cloth research, uh, it'll take three days to research, but that'll be super useful because you need the cloth to make the bows, um, get them all bows. Okay, uh, too late. Not great. And, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're coming from over here. Yeah, so they're gonna run up this way. It's gonna take them a little while to get to me. That's both good and bad. It's, it's just wasting my night, you know? <laughs> like, we're gonna win the fight. Um, okay, and I think putting people up against the fence allows them to strike through the fence. Somebody's ravenously hungry. Relatively peaceful. Flightless birds. The terror birds don't attack us. They're relatively peaceful. I think they will fight back. What are you shooting at, buddy? What? Why? Why? That's not the hostile animals at all. Oh, that's not good. That those can actually injure us. Ah, uh, we just got we just got fucked. Okay. Well. It is what it is. Ness is injured. We're gonna have to roll with it, I guess. I wonder if he can fix the fence in time. No. No, in fact, that was an even worse decision. Is now my... Range combat characters out of range. Okay. I mean, these things don't do much damage. Nothing here is going to kill us. Nobody's seriously injured. People are bleeding. Certainly could die of blood loss. This is, you know, at the end of the day, this is, uh, we got some poultry. Things kind of worked out. Uh, I'll give everybody uh, time to go 
rest and get healed. Paulette's pretty close to a meltdown. Talus needs to heal Vanessa, not uh, Grayson. She's the she's the doctor. I don't know why they're making those sounds. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, and he's eating my get get off my get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. He doesn't have life-threatening bleeding, so... And... Let's just have them all... Push through. Well, I gave you an order, dude. Okay, you're gonna follow me. We need to... We need to get the meat before the, uh... Scavengers can... There we go. Get some poultry. Let's see if poultry was the magic meat for the dogs. I don't see the dogs anymore. That one. No, no but that's a dead, uh, <laughs> dead flightless bird. Now that might be the one that I shot. Oh, there's a dog over there, isn't there? Okay. Tame, no, it doesn't say what. Uh, taming food. Oh, it's a, dry, a dried or. Okay, it's a special type of meat. Kind of like a kibble. Okay. Get Grayson back, butchering. Vanessa back, butchering. What is he actually? Oh, he's re yeah. Okay, let's research that. I guess I should make sure none of these guys are eating raw meat, right? Paulette's still bleeding. I'm gonna have her wait for treatment. I don't think they can get sick from eating the raw meat, but it's just a waste of resources that you could otherwise cook. Vanessa's healing Paulette. This is perfect. She's cooking meat soup. That was a pretty clumsy, uh, pretty clumsy first attack. I'm not gonna lie. I don't, I don't know why the terror birds picked that moment to aggro us, or whether, whether we aggroed them because we were in combat stance and they got close. Like I'm. I'm not quite sure on all of the the combat logic that just played out, but we lived. Everybody is still fine. Definitely need to get some walls up because there will be uh, bigger and badder bug attacks for sure. This guy. Red feathered bird. Kind of a buzzard, I guess. Open to do some scavenging, but there's nothing left for it to eat. The glitter caps are coming along real nicely, so we'll have medicine production, which is good because we lost four medicine from that fight. Um, we have food for another couple days. Three days of food, exactly. 
We've got metal and hay and sticks and a little low on wood, but that's easy to remedy. Yeah, so uh, Talus was just sharing with Vanessa his fear of getting stranded uh, permanently, and that is uh, sort of the core... Um, the core gameplay loop is actually, it's not just a survival crafting tower defense, um, alien bug fighting game. Um, it also has um, an extraction element. There's just like an extraction survival crafting game where you want to build a facility to allow your people to escape the planet. Um, and that's really cool. That's, that's not done in many of these games. Like going medieval has no end state. You just build until you've got a giant castle and nothing can get to you. And then you're like, okay, I guess we won. Um, but this, this has a definite end state. Um, a little bit maybe more like Icarus, um, which is, I think in my, my review I mentioned that, um, but as an extraction um, survival crafting game set on, a, on an alien planet, there is some, um, you know, more than passing similarity there. Okay. They're arguing with the low food supply. It's not really a low food supply. We've got so much to cook. We've got so much to cook. I want to make sure we are cooking. Could probably build a wood stove at this juncture. We also need to finish the weapons. Tomorrow. How injured is Vanessa? She says she's injured. So she's got a leg injury, a mile, 2%. Superficial bite. She's not bleeding. She's just healed. She's fine. Fuck it off. This stuff here, I think, is tobacco, um, which they can smoke as uh, leisure and morale. I don't know if I want to encourage smoking in my community. Um, I'm not anti-smoking, but I, uh, I, I, I myself quit smoking after almost, I don't know, almost 20 years doing it, something like that. Um, I quit uh, almost two years ago now. Feel great. Actually, uh, I would be. Pretty much exactly two years ago, like this week. New weapon, short bow. Okay. Let's give that to Vanessa because she has nothing. Again, I like this. So, uh, Paulette just made a short bow, and the very first thing she did, instead of just, like, you know, going medieval style, throwing it on the ground um, for it to decay or, or get lost, um, she put it right away in that wardrobe, which is really smart. Um, she used the environment around her, um, the AI prioritized the nearby container um, because they hadn't said don't put it in there. So it assumes that this is the correct place to put it. That is that is serious AI, um, you know, procedural improvement over um, the other uh, survival crafting game I play. There are things that Going Medieval definitely does better. Um, no question about that, including, I think, the building overall. Um, but good, and he's planting the Buttermelon. What season is it? So we're headed into summer. That's good too. Well, that's why the scavengers, whatever, they can they can have that. It's almost decayed anyway. Yeah, we're headed into summer. Um, so we're gonna get a good big harvest out of all of these things. Okay, it looks like all our meat decayed because we don't have refrigeration. So we've got food supply again for two days, so now we've got to start uh, hunting more proactively. And I think the first thing we're going to hunt is this guy. Let's send Talus and Vanessa off to hunt it right away.
I don't want them to fight it in the forest, but... In fact, I'd like her to stay the fuck away from it, in case it decides to aggro. A bit of a prehistoric mammoth hunt going on here. I mean, prehistoric mammoth hunt with a laser pistol. Might be smart to get everybody together to do this, get them all bows. until he finishes butchering it, and then she'll bring back the other part that he doesn't need to hide or the meat, whatever he doesn't grab. Put the meat in the drying rack, eh? That would have been smart. We're gonna have to make sure that we're not doing that. We put the hides in the drying rack for now, though. Is that I, I forget exactly, it turns it into a more usable uh, form. That's for sure. Wait a second, Talus, where'd your meat go? He just dropped it. I don't even know where he dropped it, doesn't say. You saw me give him a direct order to bring that back. I don't know why he arrived without it in his hands. I might as well build a lightning rod. That's a pretty important thing to protect us from. Lightning can be incredibly destructive and, and lethal. Of course, something's probably eating my meat somewhere out there, wherever he, wherever he dropped it. I wish I could click on the thing. There was some way to find the item. How long for the grain cob? Well, it'll be up by the time we run out of food. Oh, there's the thunderstorm. I'll watch everything get struck by lightning. And that's gonna get struck by lightning in the field. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that says Zeus fucking hates them. Our health's going up. Okay, lightning rod researched. Let's build that right away. Uh, oh, cool. We can build fortifications and gates and towers. Neato. Um, there's new uh, there's new carbon building types too in the. Uh, I saw that in the uh, military outposts uh, upgrade. That okay. There's the lightning rods. I don't know exactly where to put it here for. Let's put it alongside the house for maximum coverage of critical areas. Eventually you can link that into your uh, your power, like your capacitor um, and your electrical system so that when lightning strikes you actually like charge your batteries. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of Frankenstein going on there. Perfect. No key research. I might as well uh, learn the emergency rations next, right? That will take a full day. 
to keep an eye on Winter, make sure we learn hay cloth and tailoring. Okay, there's the meat. The meat's come in. The hides have made it on the rack. This is good. <laughs> Lightning is vicious. And it does, in fact, strike the same place twice. I'm kind of glad they didn't add uh, things that things that pill for your crops, like little birds landing out here eating the eating the buttermelons or the grain cob. So that's the thing in what Stardew. This game has has some Stardew vibes, so you know, obviously a little bit less. Uh, just say a little bit less of a simulation, but I don't know if it's quite quite accurate. Grayson is idling. What is it that Grayson normally does? He's a carpenter. Okay, let's make sure Grayson gets a bow. And Talus gets a spear. And Vanessa gets a spear. And Paulette gets a bow. There, now everybody's got a ranged weapon. Two people are idle. Uh, extract fats from meat, make slop from raw food. Slop would be for like slopping pigs, I guess. Um, we'll make bandages. Don't need to craft weapons. Everything's planted, I guess. Um, we just need to do some uh, gathering again. We're, uh, we're running low on um, woods and, uh, and hay grass. So we'll cut all this uh, hay grass that's here. I'll actually have someone observe. Uh, no nope, orders. Cut other plants. That will be order again. Oh, no one's idle. I guess the charger practice is really good for them, like they do get more proficient. Um, I'm going to start thinking about where to put uh, the fortifications and, and how. It's definitely going to go along this east-west axis here. And we're going to have a smaller fortified area up there. How big is the gates? Three units. It's four units. Yeah, so you can't evenly line a gate. That's whatever. expensive to build those walls. So that's, uh, might as well move this then, right? Mm -hmm. 
here. We need 1362 woods. So we're gonna have to pretty much clear cut this whole forest here to get that. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, building that there. It's a hideous use of my resources right now. I guess you can always get more wood. You can always get more wood. Um, oh, and uh, oh, would you look at the time. We are uh, we are arriving at the end of uh, this first uh, Stranded Alien Dawn stream. Don't worry, there will be lots more in future. Um, we're going to be coming back and visiting Grace and Paulette, Talos, and Vanessa fairly often. Um, the game has hit its 1.0 release the survival crafting game from Hemimod Studios. Uh, I always say this, but it is it is a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like watching me play these games, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, if you don't like watching me play these games or you've got some criticisms, let me know down in the comments. As always, uh, throw me a like, please subscribe on the channel, and uh, yeah, see you in space.